Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. These are 10 Yoruba Nollywood stars whose marriage breakups shook everyone and broke fans' hearts. The first couple, Dobby Simeon and Daniel Ademinokon. Daniel is regarded as one of the most prolific filmmakers from Africa today as his works have charted a new course for the Nigerian motion picture industry. For over 12 years, he has written, produced and directed several feature films, shorts, music videos and commercials, PSAs and documentaries. Doris Simeon, on the other hand, is a Yoruba actress. Doris Simeon started with a part in three episodes of the Papa Jasko comedy series. She then had parts in Nollywood films, Olojuede, Alakada, 10 Million Nera and Modupe Temi. She has also appeared in Etiqueta. In 2010, she starred as the Green's girlfriend in Ghetto Dreams and co-produced the movie Omo Jacob. Given her first role by the late movie director come actor Yomi Ogumola, Doris Simeon rose to the top, starring in over 100 films, including Etiqueta, Olojuede, Alakada, 10 Million Nera, Abani Kedu, Isheju Maru, Omo Yako, Ghetto Dreams, Silence, Gushi Girls, Alakada, Omokokwa, Ashiri, and Mudukbe Timi, just to mention a few. Dori Simeon is not just an actress, she's also a master of ceremony and a TV show host. These two, Doris and Daniel, were a powerful force in Hollywood until the shocking end of their marriage. Their marriage produced a son. The next couple, Fetia and Said Balogo, in Hollywood, this is the only couple that coincidentally shares the same birth date. She was born in Ikeja in February 1969, and she attended Maryland Primary School and Maryland Comprehensive Secondary School in Lagos State, where she obtained the West African School Certificate before she proceeded to Kwara State Polytechnic, where she received a Diploma Certificate. Fetia Balogu Asted produced and directed several Nigerian films over the years. In the year 2008, she won the African Movie Academy Award for the Most Outstanding Actress in the Juniors and her movie in Russia they won the Best in the Juniors Film of the Year. In April 2014, she won the African Movie Academy Award, having emerged as the Best Actress of the Year, alongside Odunade Adekola, who emerged as the Best Actor of the Year. Fethi Abalogun also won the Best in the Juniors Language Yoruba Award for the work done in the film. Yalalake at the 2015 African Magic Viewers Choice Awards. Fethi Abalong is a fantastic actress and she was formerly married to the veteran Hollywood actor Saeed Balogun. Saeed Balogun was on a February 5, 1967 in Enugu State, Southeast Nigeria, but also from Oyo State in Nigeria, where he had his primary, secondary and tertiary education. He began acting in 1978 when he presented his first television program titled Youth Today on NTA. He produced his first film titled City Girl in 1989, but had featured producer and directed several Nigerian films before then. He was initially married to Nollywood actress Fethi Abalogo, as mentioned earlier, but they got separated. He has two children with Fethi Abalogo, Khalid and Aliya Balogo. This couple was loved by all, and it is still a major heartbreak to their fans all over the world till date. The third couple, Jumalu and Orisha Bumi. The life of the 83-year-old Jumalu has been about drama, theater, art, and culture. A mere mention of his name evokes memories of those glorious days of television drama series that typified the rich Yoruba culture and tradition. He taught morals and entertained his teammate fans, from Ibo Olodumare to Arilu to Nyokbo Nyore. His productions were a must-watch. Some remember watching him say in primary school, some in secondary school, others in the university. He was in the third Marine Commando of the Nigerian Army for seven and a half years. His contemporaries then became brigadiers and generals, and others who used to play for them in the schools and universities became judges and lawyers, and some are now traditional leaders. In theater arts in those days, they married multiple wives to stabilize their troops. Take for instance, during the times of Fade Yoluru, they may decide to make Orisha Bumi, who might be the real wife, the stage wife. And if someday she decided to pull out from the group, the famous Orisha Bumi rule would be technically dead. So since no dramatist what is onions wanted to lose fans and infect popularity, they conceived the idea of conscripting their wives into some roles or marrying those they felt were assets or indispensable. 
also some women were needed at home to guide the children in terms of their education and moral upbringing because of the nature of their profession which made it impossible for the breadwinners to adequately monitor their upbringing on a daily basis. Mrs. Folake Ariamu, popularly known as Urisha Bumi, was married to Jumu Aliu and the two created magic in terms of exceptional drama while they were together. She was revealed while speaking at one of Jumu Aliu's house in Ibadan that the veteran actor chief Jumu Aliu, popularly known as Awuru, made her world famous. The pair were a powerful force in Nigerian drama and their splits did create a hole that could not be filled. The fourth couple, Jibola Dabo and Binta Ayomogaji. Jibola and Ayomogaji are both Yoruban Hollywood veterans and well known and admired by all. Jibola is a Nigerian actor who won the award for Best Actor of the Year at the Zuma Film Festival. He was born in Lagos State, a geographical area of southwestern Nigeria that is occupied predominantly by the Yoruba speaking people of Nigeria. Jibola is originally from all war who do states Nigeria. He received most of his former education in Nigeria from elementary to college level. He graduated from the University of Lagos with a bachelor's degree in fine arts. After his education in Nigeria, he furthered his education in the United States of America in pursuit of a master's degree. He attended Columbia State University and graduated with a master's degree in mass media. He reportedly started acting at the age of six in school, where he took part in stage dramas. Then his official debut into the Nigerian movie industry in Hollywood was in 2006. Dirty Secrets can be described as the most provocative movie of 2009 and most significant of Jibola Dabo's career. Bita Yomogaji is a veteran Yoruba Nigerian actress. Ayomogaji has been a part of at least 800 films, television, and theater productions. She was born in 1964. She's a native of Agboile in Ibadan. Her father is an Islamic cleric, while her mother is an education administrator. In 2006, she married retired soccer and physiotherapist Victor Ayodelu Udileye. But before then, this Nollywood veteran was with the popular veteran Jibola Dabo for at least a decade and they had a son as a result of their relationship. Ayomogaji's first own video film was Mojiri, which was done in Yoruba. She was awarded Best Actress at the Real Awards. Some of Ayomogaji's movies include Casanova, Pasito Dende, Akobi Gomina, and Yeleni. Nowhere to be found. Why worry the Baba? Sergeant Okoro, Igbalan Dogi, Mojere, Owo Blue, Tiolu Anile, Motherwood, Owale, Ileke, Ojuju, Iliolorogun, and Checkmate. The last couple, Ayuadison and Goriola Azan. These two were a very famous pair in the Nigerian movie industry and their separation shocked everyone. Ayuadison was born on August 11, 1969. She's a Nigerian film actress, director, and producer. She also met Jagun in Ijebu in Ogun State, southwestern Nigeria. She attended St. Anne's School at Ibadan, the capital of Oyo State, and later proceeded to the University of Ibadan, where she obtained a bachelor's degree in mass communication. She began her acting career in 1996 after she completed the National Youth Service Scheme, and her first appearance on television was on Tunji Bamishibin Soap Opera titled Palace. She later joined the Yoruba language film industry, where she featured, produced, and directed several movies. She was formerly married to Guru Azam, but they are now separated. She also has a son with him. Aya featured in Boko Boko alongside former world heavy champion Mike Tyson. She featured in Ewure and several other blockbuster movies. Well, whatever happens in life, it's either we learn from it or we dwell on it. If you learn from it, you move forward, which is what the stars are doing. We are coming to the end of this episode. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content. And until next time, we may be blessed.